Spiritual Implications of Piercings Tongue Piercing The piercing of the tongue means that the tongue is dedicated to the kingdom of darkness, and that tongue is used as the devil's tool. Such a woman or man will find that they are always angry and are always arguing unnecessarily. The scripture says in Proverbs 18:21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. When the tongue is pierced, it is controlled by the spirit of darkness and the devil has all legal right to use that tongue. That tongue is connected to the serpentine spirit and is controlled and used by Satan to speak curses. An individual that pierces the tongue is connected to hell and is normally chained spiritually in the fire kingdom and the marine kingdom. The spirit of sexual perversion is also connected to the piercing of the tongue as many women and men uses it to enhance sexual pleasures via oral sex or uses it for use of intense sexual pleasures. I once met a woman that was spiritually caged and while I was there talking to her, the Holy Spirit instructed me to tell her to say hallelujah. I noticed that she was struggling to say it, this is simply because she had dedicated her tongue unto Satan through piercing. The Holy Spirit bid me to look closer inside the mouth of the woman and it was then I saw the tongue ring. I instructed her to get rid of it and she did. After it was taken from her mouth the Holy Spirit told me that she was released from one of the kingdoms that held her captive. In the physical world most people don't know the spiritual implications of what they are getting themselves into. The most common types of tongue piercings are, the snake eye piercing and the midline piercing. They are also many other types of piercings. The snake eyes piercing. Midline piercing. Private area piercing. Whenever anyone pierces their private area it signifies that such an individual is connected to the marine kingdom. The piercing of one's private area is a way in which demonic entities mark their territory. It also means that such an individual would become sex slaves unless they are delivered. This goes for male and female. Many today pierce their private area and is in a steady relationship physically. However, in the realm of the spirit they are spiritual prostitutes and will have many children there. This will also affect their children on the earth. One will find that these individuals would be very miserable and true happiness is far from them. I once conducted a deliverance where the demon confessed that whenever women pierces her private area they are doomed. Naval Piercing Piercing of the navel is demonic and is used for seduction and manipulation. This is why most ladies that wear this kind of piercing always wear clothing that would expose their navel. However, not all ladies pierce their navel and exposes it, but they are still connected to the kingdom of darkness and should seek deliverance by the blood of Jesus Christ. Men that have the spirit of lust are normally attracted to this kind of piercing. Also, this piercing attracts the spirit of the lion which would have a stronghold on that individual. Nose piercing. Nose rings represent the spirit of prostitution yet many ladies that consider themselves to be Christians do wear them due to lack of knowledge. However, these things do have spiritual implications. During a deliverance session a beautiful lady was being delivered and the demons confessed that whenever a woman pierces their nose it is a symbol of prostitution. One might say, I am not a prostitute, which might be correct physically but in the realm of the spirit they are prostitutes. Many ladies will find that they go to bed and see themselves having sex with many strange men. This is because they have been initiated in the kingdom of darkness unconsciously. Many women do wear the piercings physically without the knowledge that they are attracting the spirit of prostitution. Many women and men will go to bed and find that they are tired and weak when they get up and at times find that their private area is wet. This is a sign that they may have been involved in a sex orgy unconsciously. Physically speaking, most ladies that are prostitutes would just be automatically attracted to nasal piercings. Nasal piercings also attract the spirit of stubbornness. Many animal owners today will pierce the nose of their animals on the farm whenever they are to be taken to a livestock show for exhibition. Many animals such as the pigs, bulls, and cows will wear a nose ring. A nose ring is used to maintain control of the animals being exhibited at a livestock show, hence whenever one wears these piercings they are being controlled by the kingdom of darkness. If you are not led by light you are therefore led by darkness. Many people are lacking in knowledge today thus they suffer and perish. Note. 
Not all ladies that pierce their nose is soliciting their bodies. However, once the nose is pierced, the spirit of prostitution and other demons has legal rights to enter. Many are reading anxiously to find out what has been said about the piercing of the ear. We must be careful of doing things excessively, I will share my experience and as the scripture says experience should teach wisdom, Job 32 7 I said, days should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. A Christian lady came for deliverance one day and the demons manifested in her. The spirit of Jezebel confessed that it caused her to pierce her ears multiple times as well as her nostril. While going through the deliverance process the demon proceeded to take out the unnecessary earrings from her ears as she had it pierced multiple times. During the deliverance the demons pulled out the piercings that were on the helix which is the outer part the ears. Personally, the Lord spoke to me regarding this ear piercing. He explained that this will not cause an individual to not be saved and also to not be judgmental regarding it. The Lord wants us as his people to be exceedingly careful to not be excessive in whatever we do. We must be guided by the Holy Spirit. I am sure once it is the Holy Spirit leading any individual then right decision will follow. If one is led by the flesh, then the flesh will rule such an individual. I advise all the readers to ask the Lord on how to lead you. The scripture says in Proverbs 3 colon 6, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Teardrop piercings can be anywhere between the anti-eyebrow area and upper cheek area. This simply means that the spirit of sorrow is attached to whosoever wears it. It represents the spirit of death, it means they will always be in painful situations and such an individual will cry more than they have joy. Such a person will not enjoy inner peace. However, most individual that wears it does for different reasons, to acknowledge the loss of a family or fellow gang member or in some cases, that the wearer has killed someone. Physically, the wearer may have his slash her reasons to wear it but in the realm of the spirit it does have a meaning. This is why one must be careful to not follow the latest trend because this can lead to physical or spiritual death. There are many types of piercings today in our society. There are nose piercings, eye piercings, face piercings, oral piercings, lips piercings, dermal piercings, different type of body piercings. I encourage readers to not feel condemned if you have any piercings. I pray you will make the right decision and remove any unnecessary piercings on the body. Go to a Holy Spirit-filled church and seek deliverance.